Hello all, and welcome to eDrawMax. In this video, let's learn about some quick drawing tools in eDrawMax. First, let's find out about tools for drawing symbols. Navigate to Home, then Symbol. There are quick tools for drawing basic symbols. Click the Rectangle tool, then drag the cursor mouse on the canvas to draw different sizes of rectangles. When you try to draw a square with the Rectangle tool, there will be a dashed diagonal line across the symbol, and once you release the mouse, you will get a square. Click the Oval tool. Drag the cursor on the canvas to draw ovals or circles. Similarly, when you try to draw a circle with the oval tool, there will be a dashed diagonal line across the symbol, and once you release the mouse, a circle is drawn. Click the Line tool. Drag the cursor to draw a line on the drawing page. By default, there will be an arrow at the end of the line, and you can change the styles of a line in the right-hand line pane. Click Bezier tool. Drag the cursor to draw an arc. The yellow squares are used for changing the radian of the curve. By default, there will be an arrow at the end of the line, and you can change the styles in the right-hand line pane. Now, let's look at the tools for drawing text boxes. To insert a text box on the canvas, click on Text Box, click on the canvas, and drag the mouse until you have the required size. Type the text of your choice. Now, let's learn about the Text Block Adjust tool. Select the text box, navigate to the Symbols tab, under Text Tool, select Text Block Adjust Tool. The selected text box will be highlighted in magenta control points, which can be dragged to change the size of the box and move the position of the box. You can also adjust the size of text boxes in any of the symbols from the library following the previous method. Now let's learn about the connectors. There are three different types of connectors in eDraw Max. Connector, curved connector, straight connector. Connection point tool. There are two kinds of connection points. The preset connection point and the floating connection point. You can drag out the connector lines from these connection points. Now, let's learn about adding connectors between symbols. Drag any two symbols from the library. Put the cursor over the connection point and drag the mouse to draw a connection. When you move a symbol that is attached to another symbol via a connector, the line will automatically adjust its angle to keep the two connection points connected. To add a connection point on a symbol, drag any symbol onto the canvas. Under Symbols, navigate to the Points tool and choose the Connection Points tool. Click anywhere on the symbol to add connection points. You can drag the connectors from the newly added connection points. To move connection points, Select the symbol on the canvas. Choose Connection Points Tools from the Symbols tab. Click to select the connection points. Press the left mouse button and move the connection point to the position you want, and release the left mouse button to place it. You can drag the connectors from the newly moved connection points. To delete connection points, Select the symbol on the canvas. Choose the connection points too. Click to select the connection points and press delete. To learn more about how to use eDraw Max, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.